Okay, so now you've made the little cake out of felt, but I want to show you another way of doing it with cute fabrics. There are so many fun fabrics to choose from that you might as well wrap the last layer with fabric, right? So what you want to do is take that last piece of felt that you had cut earlier, remember we cut eight strips before, and place it on top of a really pretty piece of fabric. Make sure that you cut around uh, that felt piece about a half an inch to an inch around all four sides. And then put a pin in it and take it to your machine. Now let me tell you something real quick. This is the Janome DC4030. And this is the machine that you can actually win in our giveaway that we have going on right now. Now when I first had this come in the mail, I was thrilled because <laughs> my favorite feature, let me show you. Take my thread. One of the things I hate about threading a machine is that it has this little tiny eye there that you're trying to, you know, wet this thread and then poke it through and then do it again. And I never can get it right. Well, I was thrilled when I found out that the 4030 actually has an automatic thread, uh, threader, I guess I should call it. All you have to do is press down here and then wrap your thread around, bring it under there and voila. Oh my gosh, can you believe that? I just threaded this machine. So easy. So uh, that's one of my favorite features. I also like that it has this digital display here so that I can ex see exactly what my stitch length and width is and I can adjust it really easily. And it has like 30 uh, actual stitches. One of those stitches that I'm going to use is a little star asterisk here. So I'm just going to press uh, the press of a button. Oh, don't you love that? Okay, there we go. And I want to uh, make it a decorative stitch just because it's more fun. <laughs> That's all. And uh, I'm going to basically be quilting these two layers of felt and fabric together. So now I've put it there at the corner of one of my pieces of fabric here. And I want to basically quilt the, the felt and the fabric together. So as I mentioned earlier, I pressed this star design here. And I'm just going to start quilting. And I'm just doing it at an angle. Again, just eyeballing it. No big deal. There we go. And we have um, a line of stars. Now to get to my next row, I could take a pencil and ruler and mark all my spots. But again, I'm just going to line it up along one edge of the plate here and start sewing again. Now I did this in a black thread just so that it's easier to see for you, but if I were to do this for myself, I would probably choose a thread color that is maybe pink or yellow or green, something that's inside um, this fabric choice here. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna continue to do that. All right, see how I have um, those sandwiched together? All right, I would continue to do that. When I'm done, I'm going to go the opposite direction so I have some angles going both ways and it's going to look really cute. Um, to finish off those edges, all I wanna do is now fold that lip over the, the piece of felt and then take it back to my sewing machine. This time I would choose a straight stitch on there and then top stitch along the outside edge. Once you've done that with your bottom layer and your top layer, and of course I would use two different fabrics just because you know there's too much fun fabrics to choose from. You, can you can't just choose one, right? And uh, then we wrapped it as our last layer of the cake. And see, there we have a fabric covered felt uh, pin cushion cake. Okay, so now we're at the two minute craft countdown, the very end of our show today. And so we felt like we needed to put some icing on the cake. And so we're gonna show you how to make these darling fabric flowers that are so easy to make. And I think we could do it in less than two minutes and it doesn't even cost you a calorie. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of icing we like. So let's get started. All right, what you're gonna need is a two inch uh, by 24 inch strip of fabric. Just go ahead and cut that out. And then what you'll do from there is fold it in half lengthwise and then press with an iron. Pretty easy to do, right? Easy enough. Easy <laughs> enough. And from there, take it over to your sewing machine and you're going to sew two rows uh, with your lar longest basing stitch. 
about, oh, would, what would you say, an eighth about of an, an inch eighth and a fourth inside, of an inch. and about a fourth mm -hmm. of an inch inside. So once you have those two long basting rows stitched into there, you're going to take your bobbin threads and gently tug on them, just like this. And what's going to happen is that this is going to now begin to ruffle. That's right. Okay. Now, if you want a frayed look to your flower, that frayed flowers are really popular, mm -hmm. then you just wouldn't uh, turn it over and um, press it. You would just keep the edge uh, left alone. All right. Now, once you continue to pull that, you're going to have something that looks like this. What I like to do is just fold back that end there, take a little bit of glue to start with, mm -hmm. and then continue to wrap around. Each time I roll, the, the fabric around, I'm going to also glue it. Oh, got a little bit of glue there on my finger. And continue one after the other, gluing and, and turning, gluing and turning, until you have a darling uh, little flower to awesome. put on top of your cake. Okay, so there you have it. We just finished a really cute wow. fabric flower. And we did it in less than two minutes. So quick and Good easy. Job. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fabric flowers are so much fun, not only on uh, our little cakes here, but of course you've seen them on headbands and hair bows, even handbags and lapels uh, that you wear. Yeah. So that is the end of our first wow. show. Can you believe it? Can't believe it. So Chris. That's crazy. Yes. Because you know, we're in a celebratory mood and we just finished our first show. I have a little gift for you. You do? Yes. Who says they want a small little piece of cake <laughs> when you can oh have a big my piece of cake? <laughs> this is a large wow. pin cushion. Uh, <laughs> just done like the small pin cushions, but a lot more rolling. <laughs> Kim, you're awesome. Now that is... <laughs> That is a fabulous looking cake. That's my kind of cake. <laughs> Put a pin right there. Well, it even says follow us on Facebook <laughs> right, right I here. I love it. So it's just a little memory cake. Uh, oh, that's fantastic. Kind of fun. I will have it proudly sitting in my sewing room. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Kim. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'd love to see what you are making, and if you make a fabric uh, cake, then we'd like to have you join our Flickr group and show us the way you embellish yours, as well as any pin cushions that you're working on. That would be a lot of fun. Now, we have to make sure and tell our sponsor once again, Janome, thank you so much for the fabulous giveaway that they are doing. Don't forget to enter uh, the to have the opportunity to win a sewing machine and an embroidery machine. This is a big deal because this, this is, is a big. prize that's nearly $2,000. Combined, yes, absolutely. What a wonderful giveaway. You have to be a part of it. Who wouldn't love a new machine? Oh my goodness, it would be like Christmas, I'm <laughs> sure. So make sure and uh, go to our blog to find out all the details on how you can sign up to win that Janome embroidery or sewing machine. Great. And speaking of giveaways, today's giveaway is sponsored by Heather Bailey. And as we mentioned earlier, she has Darling Pin Cushion mm -hmm. Kits. So we are giving away 10 of these That's right. by random drawing. Just come to our blog, thediydish.com, make a comment, and you'll automatically be entered to win one of these uh, kits. All right. So thank you, Heather, for this giveaway. And next week's show, let's tell them what's yeah, coming up. You'll, make, uh, you'll want to make sure to tune in for next week's show because we are going to really put the icing on yeah, the cake this time. You can never have enough of that. That's right. <laughs> and we're going to show you how to make these fabulous, very unique, and different uh, pin heads for your pin cushions. It's a very popular item right now. That's right, and a lot of fun, and we're going to show you lots of different unique ways in order to make them. And then, don't forget that we also have that two-minute craft countdown, and we're going to show a fun Easter craft for you to do with your children at home. So that's um, the DIY dish today. We appreciate you coming on over and joining us where creativity was served. Bye-bye now. Bye.